Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Silver 1999. In this episode, the Let's Play of Silver 1999 that is, in this episode we are going to explore the Cathedral of Spires. And we will have quite a lot to do here actually. Um, it's not the largest dungeon by any stretch of the imagination, but it's slightly larger than the ones we've been having, especially the second one. That was pitiful. That was a room and a half. Well, we first start by getting gold, which is always a good idea. There we go. I misclicked on Jag, so I might as well use them. On Jug, so I might as well use them. There we go. There we go. There we go. Well done. Well done. Uh, is that all? No, it isn't, because there are some lobsters coming along. It's a weird dungeon. But it's submerged, so it makes sense that it has some uh, water animals and water creatures, or water-based creatures. It does make a little bit of sense, doesn't it? There we go. That's cool. No, it's still not done. Ah, now we're done. There's no music in this dungeon which is a bit weary. There's only the sound of these things squealing. Oh, and if you heard that, that was my <laughs> phone going off. Sorry about that. Forgot to put it on silent when I first started recording this. Again, we have those treasure, treasure chests appearing here that we can't do anything about for a while. We will be able to do something eventually, but not yet. Uh, yep, yeah, that'll be it. Now, do we want to go here? or do we... Let's go here first, and then we will come back and explore this corridor down. Yeah, that was, that was an idea. Here's a chest. Here's some things for me to get. And here's a lot of enemies to deal with now. Which we shouldn't worry about. Although they have some fire magic, they only deal two damage. As you might ex expect, some elements will be better against others. Uh, for example, fire will be better against ice. Ice will be better against fire. I think it works both ways because it's a bit like a water element. There will be some more elements that we will find. I mean, right now this all seems a little bit too much, but it basically will end up being a rock, paper, scissors when we eventually have all the orbs or most of the orbs at least. Hi, can you, can you, please, can you kill the bats? Thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you, Jug. Now, we need to feed our heroes. Uh, yeah, Vivienne, you have one as well, please. Let's go back, because I actually want to explore the other one, and I feel like going here is actually where we're supposed to go. So might as well go back to this side and see what we can explore on this side. Yeah, I remember this. I know, riveting gameplay, I'm absolutely... I absolutely agree with you, but if the first few episodes were very dialogue heavy, these episodes where we go into dungeons will be very battle heavy with not much else happening. I'm afraid it will be like that for a little bit. So I'll try and um, come in with a few snippets of commentary that have to do with the game's history, or at least my history with this game. Um, I got this game when I was eight years old. I think I got it on my eighth birthday, if I'm not mistaken. It came with a gaming magazine, basically, and we're talking about... So eight, I was eight, this is about 2002-2003. So, four or five games after the game came, uh, four or five games, four or five years after the game came out. And honestly, I absolutely fell in love with it. I've never seen, I've never seen games like this. Um, the, I've never seen 3D games like this because the machine I had before that was simply an NES. So, basically, I was used to 8 bits, I wasn't used to a full 3D world environment. 
strangely enough, on the same uh, at the same time, I also tried for the first time Resident Evil. Yes, the original Resident Evil, even though I was eight years old. That was very irresponsible of my brother-in-law. But if it wasn't for him and his irresponsibility, I would probably never be as a big fan as I am of the Resident Evil series. So we will come back to this room in a second. Oh, actually, we need to deal with Silver Grunts now. Because apparently I, I actually went the right way when I thought I was going the uh, opposite way. Um, so yeah, that, that's that's how I got the game. I got it on, uh, you know, as a birthday gift when I turned eight. Um, interestingly, this game came with two discs, a red disc and a green disc. The red disc was the installation disc, so part of the game uh, was played on disc number one, the red disc, and it was... Um, only playable up to the gate we opened last episode with the uh, the bell. After that, you would have to put part two or disc two, which would be the green disc. And that one, can you please die? Thank you. And that one was um, basically had the rest of the game, which is much more than the first disc. But because the first disc had the installation files, you know, you kind of expected it to be like that. Uh, I'm not going to save straight away, because I still want to get the other room, I think. Or I might just save anyways, because why not? So before I carry on, because we're really close to the boss, again, not massive dungeons yet. There will come a point where we'll have bigger dungeons. And there will be more dungeons for us to find, so no need to worry. But let me first... Grab as much as I can. I do have all the throwing knives available. That's good. Uh, uh, we have this room that we haven't dealt with yet. All right, let's throw knives at you. Uh, okay. Sometimes the AI is a bit funny. Now I can give you the sword. We got this new sword, which is brilliant to uh, lunge with, not really to attack sideways. So basically it's the opposite of the axes. But now I can give David an axe. Or should I give Vivienne an axe and David an actual sword? Yeah, let's keep the theme going. I think it's not a bad idea to do that because Vivienne is actually dealing loads of damage. Oh, another riveted uh, shield, even though we already got some bordered shields dropped by the uh, Silver Grunts. Yeah, I haven't been really naming the, uh, the shields that we've been getting, because we get a lot of items. This is a, a very fast-paced beginning of the game, basically. We're not exactly at the beginning. We're already, you know, some ways there. Hi, can you stop that? Thank you. Boom! Even more things. And very importantly, the Infernum Extincur... Some Latin words. Um, that a key item that we'll need to use in a bit after we're done with this and we need to move on to a next uh, part of the in the game we will need to use that item now we are very much ready to fight the boss very very much ready to fight the boss now let's save I thought I saved did I not save I might have not saved Sorry about that. <laughs> My mind is not like it used to be. Not like it used to be. Not like it used to be. Uh, we have yet again another boss that relies on um, distance damage, but this boss is actually a bit more difficult than the bosses we fought before. It's Jack! You're just in time to watch me claim the oil. How does it feel to fail? You really are pathetic. Can you do nothing but stand at the mouth's eye? Victory. Well, savor this moment, for it will be your last before you die. 
Look behind you. So you can run. <laughs> Have you no dignity? Trust me. Plot you twist. Really look behind you. Please, your diversion is farcical. We are not fighting Jag. We are actually fighting the Cathedral Dragon. And what we need to do is get ourselves under his belly and attack. Because if we can attack under his belly... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we need to be very careful because it... David, can you stop? No, David doesn't stop. He doesn't know the meaning of stopping. If we can attack him under his belly, we are dealing some damage. The problem is... His attacks, if we get hit by his attacks, we will get poisoned and will gradually lose life. Ah, crap. We didn't get lucky there. Boom! That's not really the best target. Yeah, we basically need to try and reach under his belly and attack him right here. Oh, 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 Jesus! Ah, that's a lot of damage. Uh, are you gonna move? Yeah, you are gonna move this side. This boss can be a bit hard. We need to be very careful about it. Oh, crap. Uh, Vivian, you're gonna need some food. Let's have some rat. Actually, I don't mind if the other ones die, but I need to keep Vivian alive. Because she will be my main damage dealer right now. I know David has a bit more magic, but I... You know, I've put Vivienne already, so I might as well go with her. Go, 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 go! It's a very short time frame. And it gets more and more difficult to deal with. Yes. No, that was not good enough. Go. At least it's a homing attack. Boom! That's good. That's good damage. If only you could drop some uh, magic orbs. Boom, that's another good amount of damage. I usually lose someone in this battle, because it is a difficult battle. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so David's down. Uh, yeah, I need to deal with fight like this. Ah, not having the best time with the fight. Boom, that was good. At least the dragon's almost dead. Oh, walked right into that one, didn't I? And I lost the time frame on that. Go! Ah, that's not good damage. Come on. Come on, Vivienne. You can do much more than that. Nope, not with this time frame. Right, I'm gonna let him attack once. Try to dodge it. Well done. Let him move, and move with him. Ah, oh, you moved to the middle. I should have expected it. That's good, that's good, that's good. It's almost dead. If I can hit it here... Oh, I only dealt three damage for some reason. Sometimes the damage detection is a bit weird as well. Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 that's it! Ooh, that was close. Oh, that was very close. Right, so we haven't died yet, which is a good thing. It's evident that Silver now knows that we're searching for the orbs. We have to ensure that we secure all eight before he finds any more. Right, right, so that's third orb down. This is the, the life magic. We are now in possession of three orbs. We can now move on. I'm just gonna equip everyone, make sure that everyone is sorted. There we go. That's what I meant to equip it, people with. And yeah, that's basically it. This is the uh, third dungeon. Uh, 15 minutes on the brim. That was very, very good, actually. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Silver 1999. See you then.